Welcome to the first tree lighting in Woodbridge Township for the 2022 holiday season. All right, where's all the kids? Let's get all the kids up front. All the kids. You, sir, got to move back. You know, kid. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, you excited? Is there anybody coming here tonight that I should know about? No, no, Santa is too busy in the North Pole. But I'll give you somebody better than Santa Claus. Councilman Brian Small is in charge of this event. And he not only works with the first aid squad, he works with the fire department. He's been a Port Reading resident his whole life. He does a terrific job on the town council. He's a former police officer, and he's involved in everything, especially in Port Reading. And I'm going to ask him to come up right now and tell you about all the great people that put on tonight's show so that you could all have a good time. Let's welcome Councilman Brian Small. Thank you, Mayor. First and foremost, I want to thank the Mayor for all he does for all our towns, but especially our town of Port Reading. So how about a nice round of applause for the Mayor. <laughs> this event wouldn't be possible without the coordination of the Port Reading Board of Fire Commissioners, the Port Reading First Aid Squad, the Port Reading Fire Company, the Port Reading Fire Department, our Ladies Auxiliary, and of course our volunteers. Special thanks goes out to the rec department, to our parks department, to our police department, and to our sponsors, Chibanko Funeral Home, and of course, Mayor McCormick. So some of the events that we have here tonight are pictures and letters with Santa. Oh, did I say Santa? <laughs> I meant the mayor. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. And we have crafts, baked goods, popcorn, hot chocolate, and s'mores. But first, I would like to introduce our very special guest, the Woodbridge High School Choir, under the direction of Mr. Roy DeMarco. And of course, I see out in the audience our great Woodbridge High School principal, Dr. Glenn Lotman. So without further ado, I want to ask the Woodbridge High School Choir to come on up. When do you want to hold this? Dear, we're still goodbye. 
Nice round of applause for Woodbridge High School. Mm -hmm. A couple of more announcements. Uh, two people that go all out in this thing, they don't want to come up on the stage as usual, but it wouldn't be possible without Erica and Joanne and all the effort they put into this. So thank you. Mm -hmm. And I must say, some of the career firefighters that doubled as elves the last few weeks and our, our volunteers really worked hard to make the firehouse look what it looks like. So, again, a nice round of applause to them. 
Mayor McCormick has a very special announcement. Yeah, I just want to recognize a few of our elected officials that are here. Uh, Board of Fire, uh, I stand corrected. Board of Education members Brian Molnar and Dan Harris, thank you. And Third Ward Councilman Corey Spiller. So I just want to say how upset I am that the Woodbridge High School Choir chose to sing Let It Snow. It's not a good song. No, it's not. Not when you're the mayor and when it snows, you've got to get all the plows out and they got to plow all the snow out of the way and then it melts and it's all for nothing. Do you know how much that costs us? So I have a new song. I have a new song. No more snow, no more snow, no more snow. You better, you better hope they can't vote. Yeah. I hope you guys all forget about this by the time you're 18 and can vote. Let's have the parents. Do the parents agree with me? No more snow? How about we make a deal? Let's make a deal. It can snow on the grass, but not on the streets. All right? I, I think we could work that out. I think we could work that out. All right. Well, anyway, I am going to introduce a special guest who is a big guy. He's a round guy. He's a jolly guy. I would like to introduce me. I'm big. I'm round. I'm certainly jolly. And if I ever grew a beard, you see my hair, if I ever grew a beard, it would be a big gray beard. Santa. All right. All right. Penelope, should I bring Santa out? Adelaide, should I bring Santa out? I don't know. All right. Let's sing, and he'll come out maybe if we sing. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. I don't know the rest of the words, but I'll sing the song anyway. Here he is! Here he is! Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Good evening. I hope everybody's been really good this year. Ha have, has everybody sent me their list of what they want for Christmas? Oh. Come on, I need to get the sled packed up. The elves have to make all the toys and all, okay? I'm gonna be inside. If anybody wants to take a picture with me, with mom and dad or whatever, you're more than welcome to. Come on inside, okay? Okay, a few things before we get started. Santa Claus is gonna be waiting inside. However, we can't go inside until we light the tree. That's why we're here. So, when I'm done, we're going to all walk around the back of the firehouse and we're going to light the tree with our special guest, Ryan Tarabetsky. And then all, all the stuff begins, okay? However, one more announcement. Everybody that brought a toy tonight, thank you. This was a fundraiser. If you didn't know, we are still accepting toys all week. You could just drop off a toy at the firehouse and all the toys go to Robert Wood, Bristol Myers Squibb Children's Hospital. So it's never too late to still bring a toy for a donation. 
Everybody gather around the back of the firehouse. Thank you. All right, is everybody ready? Yeah! Yeah! Special guest here to light our trade. Oh, yeah, look at me, Ryan. Ryan Tarabetsky. Oh, hi, Say hi to Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. All right, Ryan, we're going to count from 10 down. Okay. You Are you it. ready? You know it. All right, everybody count. 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6. 